Welcome back and welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. As promised, today is going to be another tag video. Um, and I saw this tag video on exactly the same place as uh, last week's tag that I did for Vlogmas. Um, and it is the uh, Star Wars book tag. Seems very appropriate since I am going to see Star Wars on Thursday. Um, and we have been re-watching the saga um, up until uh the force awakens um so we've got we still got this is tuesday and we've still got the force awakens to watch um but we've been watching everything else up until including rogue one um so yeah we are ready for star wars and i have my star wars christmas jumper on today especially for this tag um so i am ready and willing um this tag features quite a few questions let me bring you in a little bit quite a few questions about um killers and villains and bad guys and you know i don't read an awful lot of books with killings and villains and bad guys in um so uh, each of these questions as well comes with a little Star Wars quote. So the first quote is, I killed them. I killed them all. They're dead. Every single one of them. And not just the men, the women and children too. And this is Anakin in Revenge of the Sith. I've got my uh, iPad with my questions on here. Uh, so the first one is a cold-blooded killer. Um, I don't have a physical copy of this book. Um, but this is basically the only horror book I have ever read um, and that is There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. I really enjoyed this book um, and it kind of made me think yeah you know I might want to read a little bit more horror uh, because it did make me scared. I had my bedroom window open and it was quite windy and I had to go and shut it because I was like oh I don't know what that noise is. Is it just the wind or is it something else? Uh, so yeah. Cold-blooded killer in that one. Um, the second quote is, the garbage will do. Ray from The Force Awakens, a book that you thought was complete trash. Um, I don't think I would ever call a book in any way complete trash. I mean, I do have in my uh, 20 questions video uh, about the time that I did throw a book away, but that is the only time that I've ever kind of rated a book as low as that. I think, you know, someone's put their hard work into writing that book it's never going to be complete trash so not answering that one sorry um and then uh next quote is great kid don't get cocky and that's obviously han solo from a new hope um watched that one just the other night um and this is an arrogant character now this might be a little bit controversial little bit of a controversial one but I sometimes think that this character can be a little bit arrogant and so um, I have chosen uh, Becky Bloomwood from the Shopaholic series by Sophie Kinsella just because um, in especially at the very very sort of start of the series more than the series now as it is because we know that Becky has undergone somewhat of a transformation but at the very start of the series especially in Shopaholic and Sister I have to say um, sh she can be a little bit on the arrogant side yeah so that's done that's moving on um, question number four my husband's favorite quote it's a trap Admiral Akbar, Return of the Jedi, watched that last night. Oh yes. Uh, the biggest plot twist. Obviously, I'm not going to give away in any way what the plot twist is or what the plot even is, um, but this book had a massive twist in it and that is The Day We Disappeared by Lucy Robinson. Um, this one made me sit up in bed because I was reading this book in bed thinking right I'll ch I have to finish this before I can go to sleep made me sit up in bed and go what the hell um with this actual plot twist and um yeah that was the middle of the night basically sat bolt up in bed gasping what on earth major plot twist if you have not read this book pick it up now you will absolutely devour it it is amazing definitely then the next quote is, Anakin, you're breaking my heart and you're going down a path I cannot follow. And that is obviously Padme in Revenge of the Sith. Um, and this is the saddest couple breakup. Obviously, when you're invested in characters, it's always sad when a couple um, 
breaks up or a relationship ends in some way. So I'm going to show you a book where the relationship may be ending, maybe not, again, not giving anything away, but where a relationship in a book just broke my heart. And that is The First Last Kiss by Ali Harris. This book, oh, made the mistake of just reading it on my own. I was like, I need a hook now, and there's no one here to hook. It's a school night, I'm in my apartment on my own. That's it. Um, yeah, absolutely heartbreaking, this one. Okay, next quote. Let's get my iPad back again. Um, are you kidding me? I'm blind. And that's the uh, the blind dude from Rogue One whose name no one actually knows how to pronounce. Um, and a book you were happy going into blind. That has got to be The Summer of Impossible Things by Rowan Coleman. I had no idea what this book was about. I just knew it was Rowan Coleman and I wanted to read it and that parts of it were set in New York. Um, parts of it set in Brooklyn um, and I just went into this knowing nothing about it and read it and it was amazing and I made a whole video talking about it so I'll link that below definitely then we've got um, uh, <laughs> General Grievous you're shorter than I expected from Anakin in Revenge of the Sith it's lots of uh, episodes 1, 2 and 3 in these quotes um, a book that took shorter than expected to read so a book that I read quicker than I expected to um this book I started reading um over breakfast one morning and I finished it whilst it was still light and I still managed to go about my day and do bits and pieces in my day and that is Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell and the reason that this 400 page chunky hardback was such a quick read because is it was because this book is just amazing um and yes again made a whole video about it this book was amazing you should read it it's just about to come out in paperback i think it comes out on thursday in paperback um but yes i read it an ebook and i have the hardback and it's amazing and i have made a whole video about it so that'll be linked below read it <coughs> Oh dear, sorry about that. Um, then the next one is Luke, I am your father. Uh, which is obviously Darth Vader, Empire Strikes Back. Um, and a book with a great family dynamic. Um, this is my proof copy of this one. Um, but I have talked about this book a lot. Uh, and that is The One We Fell In Love With by Paige Toom. I just, I like the proof, it's so nice. And it's signed, my proof is signed. Um, but this book features triplets. And so that is why I picked this one for Family Dynamic. This is one of the best books that I read last year. Um, I didn't get around to talking about it until the beginning of this year because, you know, Christmas and what have you, and I read it over Christmas. Um, but oh my goodness, this book, amazing, amazing. So amazing. Um, and great family dynamic because it's got triplets in it. Um, and then uh, the next two are kind of covered by an author, not one particular book, but an author and her characters and her books. Um, and so the next two quotes are, the force is strong with you, a powerful Sith you shall become. Henceforth, you shall be known as Darth Vader. Uh, and that is uh, Darth Sidious, Revenge of the Fifth, Sith. Um, and so that covers favourite villain and then this is similar as well uh, you were the chosen one it said that you would destroy the Sith not join them Obi-Wan Revenge of the Sith so that's obviously a good character gone bad and so this author writes amazing villains and often they start out as good characters or they start out with you believing that they are good characters and then they turn out to be the villain and so that is any book by C.L. Taylor um, because she writes amazing thrillers. We've got The Lie, The Accident, The Missing, The Escape and her recent young adult book, The Treatment. Um, this is obviously The Escape. And uh, yeah, her villains are fantastic and they often start out as what is seen to be a good character like a best friend or a husband or a family member somebody that you trust and then they turn bad and they turn into an amazing
amazing villain. Um, so yeah, if you haven't read any of C.L. Taylor's books, you need to put them on your Christmas list definitely because they are amazing and you'll race through them and they are just totally devourable, if that is a word. Um, okay, so as I say, this book was done by a beautifully bookish Bethany and I will link her channel everywhere. Um, and I will also link the original tag video and the questions in the description box if you want to do this tag as well. It was quite fun to do, especially with the release of Star Wars coming up. Um, and yeah, she didn't tag me, but I just wanted to do the tag. So there we go. I will have another video for you tomorrow. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel so that that video will pop straight into your subscription feed. If you enjoyed this tag, give it a thumbs up. If you disagree with anything that I said in this video, which I'm sure there will be some disagreements with some of my choices here, then let me know in the comments. I would love to have a discussion with you down there. Um, and I will see you with my video tomorrow. Bye.